Hello Abuja. You're welcome to Sabi Law on the Beat 97.9 FM Abuja. Today I'm here with Mr. Onyeka Chioma and we're looking at building. Buildings, very technical something we're looking at today because um, everybody is either you are you're a landlord or you're a tenant. Or both. You're either, oh, exactly. But you must be involved with buildings. You must, you're living in a house. You can't have a building. Or you're working in an office. Or you get into a bank, it's a building. So everybody in our daily lives, there is no way we can do 24 hours without coming in contact with a building. So uh, Mr. Kachi will be talking to us today on the prohibited line for positioning of buildings on your line. On your land. All right. Thank you. There are laws regulating the positioning of buildings and other obstructions with reference to roads. You can't just place your building at some meters or some distance away from any road. There is a law on this. Now, presently in Abuja and most states in Nigeria, you cannot build anything within 30 Point forty-eight meters of the center line of a road. Hence, the part of your land, hence that part of, of your land must be left empty. Doing otherwise is a criminal offense. For me, I always tell people this. If you are privileged or opportunity to have a bank on the same line where your building is, please. Make sure that your building doesn't pass the line where the bank building started. Because banks and uh, some big institutions, they are the ones that often obey this building line. You find out that at times their building will be so far away from where their gate is. It's not just for parking space. They are maintaining what the law says with regards to having 30.48 meters from the center line of the road. That is the distance you must leave. Not these ones you see today. Someone will build and build boys' quarters and the people that live when they open their gate their when they open their gates, vehicles can't pass the road. Even so when they open their windows, vehicles can't pass the road. Because they are built almost mm -hmm. on the road itself. Mm -hmm. And it, and the funny thing is that it's a criminal offense. And when there is need for expansion of the road. They will demolish without compensation. Exactly. Because why will government compensate you for the mess mm -hmm. you have? Yeah, you rather yeah. should be even pay the government for of that. Of course, you should pay you a know? fine. Uh, so, well, so, so it is an offense for you to build and build past this line. It is called building line. Nine. You know, apart from getting approval from your from your uh, city development agency, depending on the state where you are in, like say in Abuja, where we are transmitting from, it's uh, the FCDA and the rest of them. Fine. After that, you must ensure that your building is not within 30.48 meters from the center of the road. From the center that, line. Center line of the road. Mm -hmm. That means you should stay away from that area. Leave it vacant. Leave it empty. Because if there be any expansion or any issues, anything at all, you will not be compensated if there is a demolition of that property. And it is actually a crime. So stay away from that. Yeah. While you own your properties, while you own your buildings, while you do your buildings, please ensure that you tell that your contractor or that your brother or that your supervisor or whoever is assisting you in doing your buildings to make sure, in fact, ask them to show you the 30.48 meters from the center line so that um, you are aware and you know that. Our authority for this is Section 5 and Section 8 of the Building Lines Regulation Act 1936. You can find it in, uh, you can find this in Cap 482 of the laws of the uh, of the laws of FCT 2006 and other equivalent laws in various states in Nigeria. Go Sabi law.